these birds do not shut up. I remember in fall of 2021 when I was 16 years old and I was starting to get interested in like stocks and investing and like just finance in general. And I remember I was in my English class at the time and I had just finished all my work. So I think I opened up like some sort of stock simulator and trading system to just explore what it was like. And I had knew nothing about stocks at this point. I just wanted to play around with the simulator and see what it was like. And before I even loaded that thing up, one guy came over behind me, one of my friends, he's like, oh, I see you're interested in stocks. What are you gonna put in, into? You should put it in like Beyond Beef Burgers and all these things that you should invest it into right now. You should, you should go this route. My dad said this thing is really good. And then this other guy, like one of my friends comes over and he said like, oh, you're doing stocks. No, no, Beyond Beef, not, don't put it in there. You should go with this and do like, do like this type of investment. I can't remember what he said. And then as he's talking, a third friend comes over and he's like, oh, you're into music, Kobe, right? You should invest in the music companies, put it in Long and McQuaid and put it, put your stocks in there. And I'm eventually I just like close my computer. I'm like, I'm not gonna do this right now because I had three people all telling me how to invest my stocks when I was just looking to practice and I hadn't even gotten started into the actual investing process with this simulator yet. I literally just opened the website. And although this example is kind of harmless and I was just looking at like a stock simulator, right? This is what can happen with a lot of people when you tell your dreams and when you tell things that you wanna accomplish in life. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone thinks they know what is best for you. Everyone has an opinion on how you should live your life. And that is why it is extremely important that you be careful who you tell your dreams to. Because if you have things that you wanna accomplish that are seen as unordinary, if you tell that to someone and they have a different opinion from you, they will try to convince you that their way of life is the best. They will try and convince you to go down this certain path or that you shouldn't do that and because they don't have that belief in themselves to do that certain thing. And it's not necessarily that they're trying to scare you down their path. They just think they know what's best for you. That's how everyone kind of lives. We live our own life thinking that we know what's best for us. And naturally, when we see other people, we try to project that onto them. And we've all done this. I've done it before. Other people have done it to me before. It's just the way that we naturally work as humans. Because if we find something that works for us, we naturally want to share that with other people. But the thing is, if you have something specific that you want to accomplish that is seen as unorthodox, other people probably won't have that same vision. And it's not necessarily because they don't believe in you or they're just a hater. They just believe a different way of life is best for them and they wanna see you succeed as well. They wanna see you do good, but sometimes they have no concept of what is actually important to you. They think that you'd be perfect in this career. Oh, you should be an engineer because you're good at math or something. They think that you should do this thing even though this is exactly what you wanna do. And if you tell this to too many people, naturally what can happen is just like, when my friend saw me open up that stock simulator, people will start to give you their own input. You should put your stocks over here or you should put your stocks over here. And then one guy who has no idea about stocks but is interested in this thing is gonna come out of nowhere and say, oh, put your stocks into music because I like music. And people are giving all this input into your brain and your brain's gonna wanna go like, oh, that's kind of a good idea and that's kind of a good idea and that's kind of a good idea and you don't know what you want anymore. And that belief for that thing that is important to you is gonna start to diminish, not necessarily by choice or that you don't believe in yourself, but it gets hard when everyone around you is telling you that you won't accomplish that thing or beating you down when you have ideas or making fun of you for the thing that you want to accomplish and the dreams that you have. Because in life with no matter what you want to accomplish, there are three things, one of which will hold you back. The first is skills. This is your technical ability to complete the task or if you're playing basketball, it's how good you are of a basketball player. That will be a dictating factor in the skill and the technical things that you have to do to succeed as a basketball player. Then number two is traits. This is like your personality traits. Like how do you have humility? Do you have pers perseverance? Are you resilient? Are you truthful? Are you hardworking? Do you get hot headed and start to blame people when something goes wrong? Or are you actually willing to find a solution and accept that things have gone wrong and focus on how to get, get out of it? That is a trait. And the thing is these two things don't necessarily hold people back that much. For sure they can, but the biggest thing that holds most people back is simply belief. 
it's what they believe about themselves it's what they believe is possible and <laughs> that bird man it's so loud i've had to stop like five times just because of that one but the thing about belief is that it's a very strange and fragile thing as well because most of us have some form of belief in ourselves that we can do it right but if we tell what we want to accomplish to someone who doesn't have that belief about themselves and then projects that onto us it's naturally going to diminish our belief a little bit it's going to take it down a little bit so the more people you tell about this thing that you want to do or accomplish even though you know you believe that's what's best for you and you want to go down that path the more people you tell that to the more likely that your belief is going to diminish and if belief is the thing that holds most of us back you need to protect that you need to protect that energy you need to protect what you believe about yourself because other people will try and come for that they will try to bring you back down to their level not saying that they're any worse than you but if their belief for what they can accomplish is down here and your belief is up here they're naturally going to feel intimidated like that or they think that they know what's best for you so they're going to bring you down here because they want you to be safe or they just want you to be at their level and they don't want to see you necessarily go beyond what they think is possible and defy their ability so you need to protect that belief that you have and believe me man i have learned this lesson the hard way i've told certain things that i wanted to accomplish and they've just like hammered that belief away and i've never let it go in terms of what i wanted to accomplish but it makes it a lot harder and i've learned that lesson through various things and now that i've done that i am extremely careful about who i tell certain things that i want to accomplish and who and certain things that I have planned because it is excellent to have people that you can trust and people you can talk about things that you want to accomplish with but most people won't resonate with the things that you want to accomplish and you if you found that people if you found those people and you found that certain group who supports you in your goal by all means go for it share your dreams and things that you want to accomplish with them but most people won't necessarily resonate with what you want to accomplish especially if it's something that's seen as unorthodox and you need to be willing to protect that energy because belief is an extremely powerful thing if you're actually willing to believe in yourself and you believe that you can accomplish that unorthodox goal that seems unattainable and you're willing to work hard for it you have already passed 90 percent of people because 90 percent of people won't even try they think it's too far away think it's too hard so they won't go for it that other 10 percent that's who you have to outwork with your traits and your with your skills and your traits you, you have to be willing to actually compete with those people to get what you want that's that's part of life competition is always something in terms of careers in terms of dreams there's always going to be other people who want the same things but if you let that belief diminish and you let that belief go out you'll fall back into the majority of people who don't even try because they are afraid or don't have that belief and you're never actually going to reach your full potential now with that being said my name is colby wallace i'm an 18 year old artist from canada and if you like videos like this on how to improve yourself and also want to hear some of my original music you might as well subscribe i post two videos every single day and it's a win for you and it's a win for me and also if you want to learn how to beat your phone addiction and start using social media in a productive way there's a free community with a full course on how to actually take back control of your life in the description completely free also my original music is in the description and with that being said never stop creating my friend and i'll see you in the next one goodbye